It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, this week kind of felt like Biden on those stairs. You thought it had to get better, but then it repeatedly got worse. <laughs> In the wake of the Colorado and Atlanta shootings, President Biden called for universal background checks for gun purchases. And background checks are a great start, but shouldn't we also do current checks? Like, what are these guys up to now? You know, how much Call of Duty are they playing? Have they recently DM'd a girl, hey, 30 times? <laughs> Or how about this? If you want a gun, the gun store has to talk to at least five people from your life who agree it's a good idea for you to have a gun. It's really not that much to ask. You gotta list three references on an application to work at Foot Locker. And Republicans, please stop pretending that this is a Second Amendment issue and just admit you love guns more than people you don't know. I mean, these are your political ads. Look at them. You look like you're running for president of ISIS. If you actually cared about the Second Amendment, you'd also care about the well-regulated militias part. And I don't know if you noticed when they almost hung you two months ago, but our militias aren't super well-regulated. I don't know what you're talking about. I just bought a gun last summer when all those white kids started talking about getting rid of the police. <laughs> President Biden... <laughs> President Biden gave his first press conference, which lasted over an hour. Wow, shout out to fix it in. <laughs> at the conference... <laughs> at the conference, President Biden was asked if he plans to run for re-election in 2024, which is probably the nicest way to ask him if he plans on being alive in three years. <laughs> Pictures also appeared online of President Biden referencing detailed cheat sheets during his press conference, and we actually have an exclusive look at one of them. <laughs> I gotta say, it's easy to make fun of Biden's cheat sheets, but they worry me a lot less than Trump's cheat sheets. Do you remember those? These were some real ones. Missile launched from North Korea. We'll take care of it. <laughs> Next one, Al-Qaeda written like cicada. <laughs> and of course, this classic, I want nothing, I want nothing, I want no quid pro quo. <laughs> which I think were rap lyrics from the Legally Blonde musical. <laughs> After Biden's first press conference, conservatives keep saying that the media is spinning everything to make Biden look good, but I think that's ridiculous. And I would just like to congratulate Biden on how well he did the worm down those stairs. <laughs> Some, Dem <laughs> some Democrats are demanding the Senate put an end to the filibuster rule, which some call a Jim Crow relic. Also a Jim Crow relic? Some senators. <laughs> Virginia... <laughs> oh, stop. Virginia has become the first state in the South to abolish the death penalty. So if you'll excuse me, I've got some white women to whistle at. <laughs> Mitch McConnell, uh, seen here authorizing the vet to put his kid's dog to sleep, <laughs> said he said that he's open to the discussion of gun control laws, but what he's not attracted to is something that doesn't work. And you know he's attracted to something because his neck pouch will inflate. <laughs> During a congressional hearing, Mark Zuckerberg confirmed that he was creating an Instagram for kids. Wow, an app filled with pictures of just kids? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> During an interview on Fox News, Donald Trump lied about January 6th Capitol riot, saying that his supporters were not attacking officers, but were instead hugging and kissing police. <laughs> But I'm not surprised that Donald Trump can't tell the difference between kissing and assault. 